hello guys thank you for tuning into my channel so today i'll show you the moving load analysis using a deload subroutine so over the screen as you can see uh, the load is moving from right to left on the right hand side of the screen and uh, the displacement at midpoint i have plotted so this black dot is showing how the midpoint of the beam is uh, behaving when the load is moving from right to left the beam is of 10 meter length and uh, the speed that uh, at which the load is moving is 20 meter per second so this is how it is responding uh, this video i have just created to you know as a demonstration purpose so which is why the data are not uh, real so some uh, abrupt like uh, displacement at the rate of at the order of 10 to the power minus 9 is visible but uh, the, if you take the correct data it will be you know it will be getting the correct displacement so this is just for a demonstration purpose so this video i'll show you uh, the, where i have applied the subroutine and if you need this uh, model uh, or if you need uh, any help in your subroutine or if you even need the deload subroutine or vload subroutine just uh, contact with me i have given my contact details over here uh, you can contact me through whatsapp as well as email so uh, contact with me we'll have a discussion if you need these things and if you have any problem in abacus modeling or analysis you can contact with me uh, i'll definitely help you i generally provide help and support for all abacus related problems modeling and analysis uh, whether you are from civil engineer mechanical engineer i have other videos on my channel you could see uh, i would be able to you know, understand my expertise so if you have any uh, doubt or any problem using any subroutine or uh, any model uh, uh, model is not working not running properly just contact with me all types of analysis whether it is buckling analysis or temperature displacement analysis or dynamic explicit implicit analysis static analysis you can contact with me so this is a, a good view just wanted to show you here i have used some skill factor uh, scale factor that's why you know this displacement is showing this much in the animation if i just make it one let me show you see so this is how the pressure load is moving if i just increase it oh, see this is how the pressure load is moving if i just check the top view so this is all uh, let me show you where i have applied this subroutine go to deload here the pressure is applied and i have selected user defined so when you select user defined it will ask you for user deload subroutine and i have kept the uh, value magnitude one uh, it is not the load value it is the magnitude value that means uh, whatever the load value my subroutine will give you uh, that will uh, be multiplied with this and ultimately will i'll be get my load for my analysis so this is all and uh, if you want to get this deload subroutine uh, let me show you this is the deload subroutine that i have used i have applied this pressure so if you need this deload subroutine just contact with me uh, i'll definitely give you this deload subroutine and if you need any help with deload or vload subroutine or any 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 subroutine in our case just contact with me and thank you for tuning into my channel again and please don't forget to subscribe thank you